Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will talk about the most prominent figure of the Constructivist School of the International Relations, Alexander Wendt. German-born American political scientist Alexander Wendt is accepted to be one of the most influential theorists of the constructivism. Wendt argues that the constructivism is about human consciousness and its role in international life, and this focus on human consciousness suggests a commitment to idealism and holism. According to him, these two concepts, idealism and holism, represent the very core of constructivism. Allow us to explain what he means by that. Idealism demands that we take the role of ideas in world politics seriously, because the world is defined by material and ideational forces. But these ideas are not represented by our beliefs or psychological statuses. Rather, these ideas are socially constructed. They are social entities. Our mental maps are shaped by collectively held ideas such as knowledge, symbols, language and rules. In this regard, idealism does not reject material reality but instead observes that the meaning and construction of that material reality is dependent on ideas and interpretation. For instance, balance of power does not objectively exist out there, waiting to be discovered. Instead, international actors such as states always debate on questions like what is the balance of power, what does it mean, or how it should be responded. Constructivism also accepts some form of holism or structuralism. For constructivists, the world is a social setting and it cannot be decomposed into the properties of already existing actors. Holism allows the global system to recognize that agents have some autonomy and their interactions help to construct, reproduce and transform those structures. For instance, Although the Cold War structure seemingly locked the United States and the Soviet Union into a fight to the death, leaders on both sides creatively transformed their relations and eventually the very structure of global politics. So, according to Wendt, this commitment to idealism and holism has important implications on how we think about and study world politics. Many of you might know Alexander Wendt with his famous statement, Anarchy is what states make of it. This claim actually calls attention to how different beliefs and practices will generate divergent patterns and organizational structures of world politics. For instance, a world of Mahatma Gandhi's would be very different from a world of Osama Bin Laden's. In line with this example, Wendt argues that anarchy is not simply a given structure of the world politics, rather it is molded over time through the behaviors of states. The constructivist idea that the reality is socially constructed can be better understood by examining a statement made by Wendt in 1995. He says that 500 British nuclear weapons are less threatening to the United States than five North Korean nuclear weapons. The reason behind this difference is about the intersubjectivity of the meanings and socially constructed perceptions of states. In this case, a nuclear bomb is a nuclear bomb with all its destructive capabilities. However, the idea that Britain is less likely to act aggressively against the United States compared to the North Korea is based on the interpretations of historical relationship, identity, culture, and discourses. Therefore, anarchy of friends would be different from anarchy of enemies. In his book Social Theory of International Politics, published in 1999, Wendt argued that there are three cultures of anarchy, which he labels Hobbesian, Lockean, and Kantian. Simply, the Hobbesian culture is closest to the neorealist image of anarchy, in which mainly power and interests of the state dominate the politics. In the Lockean version, states, although being rivals of one another, recognize each other's sovereignty and therefore submit to a minimum standard of common norms. Lastly, in a Kantian system, 
the scope of shared norms is very extensive and states no longer see each other primarily as rivals. All in all, everything depends on the patterns of social construction involved in each case. So, that brings us to the end of this very short video about Alexander Wendt, our first constructivist IR scholar. We will continue with another constructivist scholar, Nicholas Onuf, in our next video. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it, and for our upcoming videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.